Welcome back to the Bennett's Garage YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a respray on one of my Mazda 929s. This is a 1990 Mazda 929 HC. It's got the big boy quad cam 32 valve, three liter V6 in it, factory ABS, all that kind of deal. I've uh, already painted the bottom half and mastered up and everything. Uh, just been doing it after hours, so I didn't video any of that. But it's the weekend, thought I'd smash it out. Got my lad here, so thought I'd let him try his hand at the spray gun as well. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'll keep it quick. At the moment, the car is kind of multicolored, as you can see. <laughs> uh, so, it's all masked up, it's all wax and grease removed, all of that kind of thing. And I'm gonna put a black base coat down. This is a silver car, so black base coat, silver. Then, trying out a new clear coat today as well. So hopefully I'll be able to get that to come up nice and not get runs everywhere. Let's get into it. All right, dude, you reckon you're set? You set? Hang on, I'll give you a hand. All right, now. So, air, paint, yep. So, paint, stop, yep. Stop. All right, you getting the hang of it? Yeah. I'm gonna put the extract fan on. Okay, so I'm gonna finish basing up the rest of the car and then when it's all based up, how about you come in and spray some silver? What do you reckon? Yeah, okay. Awesome. I'm gonna start a time lapse and get this done.
black base coat is down. The uh, master painter extraordinaire is ready to go. So we're gonna start putting down some silver. I'm gonna give the kid a few tips. You ready to rock, mate? Yeah. Your hair's not in the way, is it? No. <laughs> so, first of all, we wanna set our fan. That actually doesn't look too bad. It could be a bit wider. Bit less, pa bit less paint. Bit wider fan. Silvers are really bad for like train tracking and streaking and stuff. So, you wanna hold the camera and film me? We don't wanna to go too heavy on the first coat. That's not enough. Silvers and metallic colors like this, I don't like to put them on really wet. Especially the first few coats, I kind of just like to dust them on. Uh, if you put them on, okay, so I'll explain to the people watching the video and I'll explain to you, so you gotta listen too, alright mate? Uh, if you put them on too heavy, all of the metallic can sink to the bottom. So I just like to sort of dust them on as I'm going, gauge it as I'm going. It's kind of like a skill that I've built up over the years. Also, Silvers are especially bad for patchiness, train tracking, and I always have a lot of trouble, especially with this Awada gun, getting them to lay on nice and flat. So once I've got it all covered, I might have to do a drop coat, but I'm gonna give the kid a crack at um, doing a few coats, and then I'll set up a time lapse and I'll get it all smashed out and put some clear on. Okay, so remember, keep the gun parallel to the panel, so you don't wanna paint like this. You see how that's spraying out on an angle? Yeah. and you want to spray straight. So rather than moving the gun like that, move with the panel and keep the gun perpendicular to the panel and make sure you keep the distance away from the panel the same as well. Let me fire up the fan and I'll give you a hand, you can have a crack. So start at the top and remember air, paint, air. You got it? Come back a little bit. So you probably want to be about this far away. Yep. Give it a try, mate. That's good. That's good. Yes. So go now go down. Yep. So low key, the uh, the bit the kid painted <laughs> look, looks better than the bit I painted. Maybe he's got some natural talent, who knows. Maybe next time I'll get him to paint a whole panel and he can have a go at clear and everything, but I'm gonna set up a time lapse, get this base coat down, and then I'm gonna clear coat it. Enjoy. Alrighty, so I got it all based up and I'm just about to put some clear coat down on it. It's looking pretty good. Just did a dust coat after I got it all covered. Sometimes I do a drop coat, sometimes I do a dust coat. I do kind of prefer doing dust coats, but it is on there pretty nice and even, so it um, should look immaculate with a nice coat of two-pack clear on there, so let's get it on.
What do you think, Miles? Nice. Came up alright, eh? Never used this clear coat before, but it's not too bad. A few bits here and there that I need a buff, but not bad for a quick paint job. What do you think of the door that you painted? Looks good, huh? Yeah. Yeah? That's the bottom that I mentioned that I already painted the other day. Nice two-tone on this car. Bumpers and everything are all done too. So let me know in the comments if you want me to do the next video. Um, I'm debating whether I should put some cool jack wheels on this or just leave the stock wheels on it with red walls or something. And um, I think that'll about do it for today's video. Thanks for watching, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video, cheers.